Dude, what is going on? It's hard to confide You move my world right Every time I'm a podcaster They said do this exercise to be extra articulate and enunciate your words properly because sometimes I have that problem so you stick a pen or a straw and you bite down and you say the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Q, R, F, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, K, L, M, M, O, V, Q, V, E, W, X, Y, Z I feel like you don't know the alphabet You say V, E Yo, V You hear V, E It's my accent <laughs> it's just my spit. No, you love my spit. <laughs> what is it, honey? What did you call this just now? Is that a conviction? <laughs> this is our new felon. <laughs> he read one comment on the vlog that I posted, and you guys were saying it's a convection. Convection. Yeah, he's been calling it a conviction. <laughs> of it. Now. We're just living with a literal felon. Apparently this is better than a microwave, and I agree with you guys. We've been steaming some food the past few days, as you can see this steam right here. But they say you can, it can do- It can do crispy. It can do- It can do steam. How do you do that? Like- Honey, what is this book talk you're doing up against the wall? Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen. You have a book in your nose. You guys have been wondering what has been going on inside of this nightstand right here. I actually have a comment that asked, I wonder what Stephanie puts in her nightstand. Let me give you a haul. I've got a loop. You know what a loop is? <laughs> Why do you have that? Huh? So I can, wrong way. I have, um, because it gets hot in here. <laughs> oh yeah, some body butter. Oh yeah. I have two Polaroids of us. This is going so wrong right now. You and me, baby. I got this. You know what that is? What is that? It's my breathing stick, you disgusting man. What did you think it was? I also have this. <laughs> But I read the comments, okay? I don't read all the comments, I try to. I read a lot of the comments and someone was like, oh my God, did you guys see the pregnancy test in her bathroom? And I just wanna clarify, I'm not planning on getting pregnant anytime soon. That's honestly more of like a scared stock that I have. It's not that I'm like excited, it's more like, please, I promise I'll go to church on Sundays as long as I... Do you guys ever pray like that? I grew up religious and I got yelled at for praying like that. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about... <laughs> talk about Lilo. You guys know I'm not trying to get pregnant anytime soon, but I am trying to... Sir, can I see that? Let me show you what this guy's doing over there. Girl. It's a hair tie. Get your mind out the gutter, you little I mean, this is not it, but... Do you? Speaking of do you, do you with some added fun with Lilo? Do you and your partner with some added fun? Do you and a whole group of people with added fun? We have been loving the Lilo Enigma Wave, which is the newest addition to the Lilo super popular Enigma line. Like this thing is a literal tank. Like if you guys ever want to discover new parts about yourself, if you know what I'm talking about, or new parts about your partner, or even new parts about a whole group of people, this is the way to go. I mean, 2023, we're here for a good time you know what I mean and Lilo Enigma wave is a good time it's a triple stimulation sonic massager that just kind of like hits the spots 
that you never even knew needed hitting. And you can definitely feel the difference in the quality. So Lilo has been around for 20 years helping people achieve their bliss, achieve their pleasure points, and every single device that they come out with, I mean, the quality is superior. Their silicone is probably some of the softest silicone that has ever felt so good on the bot. They use medical grade body safe silicone. It has like a finger like motion, which I think is what sets it apart to everything else on the market. The Lilo Enigma Wave also has eight powerful settings that you can be in control of. So please make sure to check out Lilo's Enigma Wave linked in the description. That's Lilo's Enigma Wave linked in the description. And thank you Lilo for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. I'm not, not like, funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's kind of funny, but okay. What's funny about it? What's funny about your wife dying? What's well, funny well, about well, being well. a widower? Obviously, this has been a persistent problem on across all three channels for I don't know how long, for quite some time, okay? And I see comments about this on a daily basis. It doesn't even matter if I didn't upload a video that day. I'll see a comment about it. Why are her hands so red? Wait, Rana doesn't look red though. So this is what regular hand looks like. <laughs> Yours look crazy. What's going on? And it like cuts off like Yeah, gloves. it's like gloves. So Stephanie's hands yellow. Her feet <laughs> not yellow, red. Like <laughs> yeah. orange red. Everything's orange red. Elbows are red. The knees are glowing. All of my joints are so Red. This is a medical mystery that I've been having for like 20 something. I don't want to tell you guys how old I am This is a medical mystery that I've been having for 20 something plus years I never knew what the ordeal was all the time. I read the comments. I start freaking myself out I go onto Google and I'm like googling. Do I have liver disease because everyone keeps telling me I have liver disease But then I, I contacted some doctors and they said no You'll know because at that point, it's not just your hands that are gonna be yellow. You're gonna look yellow. Your whole body will be yellow and it'll be very yellow. So, for so many years, I always just thought that my skin on my hands were thin. That's what everyone told me. My grandpa on my dad's side had really red palms. I always thought I just got it from my grandpa until recently. You know, I'm debating, okay, we went and got that MRI done before we got married because I'm like, okay, obviously something is wrong with my body. Everyone keeps telling me online, I get a teledoc because the liver comments were really messing with me so much it was affecting my mental health. I did a teledoc and I said, am I gonna die? Answer me right now, doctor. Am I gonna f***ing die right now? Am I gonna die? Hands up. <laughs> Wait, can you show them your socks? You cannot just be sitting there like that, acting all cool, and you've got the cutest f***ing socks on. You gotta stop putting your socks in my drawer. <laughs> I discovered this TikTok. New jeans, Danielle. Her hands are yellow and she's obsessed with fucking carrots. What is that? <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, there's no way. My hands are more orange than they are yellow. There's no way. There's no way. I clicked the comments. When I was eating a ton of carrots, I also had yellowy, orangey hands. I googled it. Apparently, it affects your feet as well. My nose turned orange when I was a baby because I was obsessed with carrots and sweet. Oh my god, your yellow. nose is getting yellow in the videos. <laughs> your nose is always kind of yellow. Yellow? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean yellow, not pink? I always like feel like you put like too much makeup on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, your gonna... nose is yellow. And your armpit's yellow. Now that you point out my yellow armpits, I'm really insecure. Are they really that yellow? They're not that bad. They say 
Isn't it true though that people's palms turn yellow because they eat things that have a certain protein like carrots? It's called beta carotene. Uh -huh. Carotinemia is what it's called. And it's from consuming large amounts of yellow, orange, and red natural pigments. And not everybody turns yellow, but some people turn orange and yellow. And apparently Steve Jobs that. was so obsessed with carrot juice, they said that he always had like an orangish hue to him. And it's not because they were being dramatic. It's yeah. literally because some people will turn in orange, you don't understand. understand. Especially when I'm back home, I would say a good 90% of my diet, I eat one of these per every meal. I eat about two to three bags of this on a daily basis. <laughs> and that's just my carrots. I'm obsessed with red bell peppers. My mom will slice red bell peppers. Specifically, I like red. They're a little bit sweeter. And I'll get the red ones and I mix it up with my cottage cheese, okay? And some celery. How long has this been my diet for as long as you've known me? Yeah, she eats a lot of that. I hyper fixate on foods and my carrot fixation has been going for years. It's just such a good root vegetable. It's got the crunch, but it doesn't have that like bitterness that other raw veggies have. Yeah, honey, you don't have to sell this on carrots right now. <laughs> We're good. That's all to say that this mother forcer always made fun of me. You know what he calls me? You know what my nickname has been for the past few years? He calls me, what is it? Zhu Xiaoxiang. Zhu Xiaoxiang. It hurts my feelings, okay? <laughs> Chinese legend has it. There's a kung fu, very famous kung fu called Zhu Xiaoxiang. Don't do this at home, okay? This is not real. You put a bowl of sand, you heat it up to like really, really, really hot. And then you do this motion in and out of the sand. And then as you do this, you will build strength. You will build strength, strength to your hand. And your hand will turn bright red. <laughs> and it will become stronger and stronger. At the highest level, when you master this Chinese Kung Fu, like Stephanie would like smack my chest. And then three days later, I will like cough blood. And then you will open my shirt, you will see a red handprint. Sometimes I'll come out of the shower and I'm feeling hot and you go, Ooh, <laughs> Anytime I even like do this, I'm like stop it. I'm trying to be all cute. I'm trying to do egg yolk. I'm like, stop it. And he goes, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Also, I realize you don't do three like this. Three? Three. No, you do it like this. Um, excuse me, what's the actual f- Who does it like this? It's awkward. <laughs> Everyone. No, that's weird. One, two, three. No, that's weird. So you do one, two, three. Three? three? Yes. That's so much hand One, two. So you go one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The pinky down is not even natural. I'm about to frame some artwork that I got in the mail. The apartment's coming together. I feel like I really tried to make this place feel extra homey because I know so many of my family are going to be visiting. Even my mom, she just left and my mom's so freaking excited to come back because That's <gasps> cute. I wanted, I was just going to put it in the frame, but this one's so pretty. I wanted to show you. This That's one's so cute. cute. I think I got this on Amazon. Pretty sure it's Amazon. Look up like green vintage frames because I ordered five different frames and I have no idea which one is what right now. And they're all still coming in and I got some prints. Kennedy Walsh's prints. Mm. She launched on I forget what day it was but I literally remember going on to the website on launch day and I did I couldn't choose so I got all five of them she drew these herself which is insane like look at these this is like very Kennedy yes <laughs> this is very much her and I got a sneak because I met her recently I met her in New York after I ordered these friends you bought five different ones yes and I want to so do only like... one is here and you're trying to see which one looks the best in there yeah oh this one's good oh this one this is one cute works. too oh this one's good maybe this one okay 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 Okay, hopefully it fits because I didn't do any measuring. I never do any measuring when I buy stuff online. It's actually the bane of our whole relationship. I would say 80% of our fights are from me not measuring things. Oh. oh. <laughs> Honey, who's right? Who's right all the time? Wow! wow and you good. can still see her signature. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, this is adorable. Even it's just standing is so Oh, that's good. That's cute. I'm actually gonna do my hair because I was thinking I could do some cute little cute little workout later, maybe. Maybe I could go for a walk outside. Go outside, touch some grass. Don't touch the grass in New York City. It's all dog saw a TikTok. There was a park that people are hanging out at in New York. Uh-huh. And someone walked by and filmed it. They were like, oh these people don't even know this is rat's place. <laughs> So like literally three hours later after everyone left, all the benches filled with rats. 
me to ask you for advice. Well, it's not even for me, it's for my mom. Because my mom, she just left. She's been sending me pictures of food that we ate in New York City and texting me, I miss this, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. This lady is unhinged, but to give you some context, right before we came to New York City, my mom went out for the day and she comes back home. I was in the closet, because that's like my focus zone. And she comes up to me and she is so dramatic. She's about to burst into tears. She said that she went out to eat kaiwoksu, which is a noodle restaurant, right? It's like Korean. It's a pretty bland noodle to begin with. It's like a beef broth. And then you add in some thick flour noodles. It's like my least favorite noodle of all time, okay? She went out to eat it and she fucking loves kaiwoksu. This lady lives for kaiwoksu. She went out with all of her friends. Everyone was eating the kaiwoksu and they're like, mm, Oh, no, my son! Which means like, oh, so yummy, so yummy! And she was like, oh, kre, like, mashinne. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is good. And she comes home and she's crying and she's like, I, I lied. lied. It wasn't good. I haven't tasted food in the past year. And I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's COVID. I don't know what's been going on with my mom. She even, her dentist even suggested that she use a non-minty toothpaste because her appetite was going into the gutter. And Stop your using. mom is the world's biggest Oh, foodie. where do you think I get it from? My mom is what they call in Korean a papsuni. A papsuni is someone who is, you're very genuine about food. That's like, <laughs> that is your, that's your priority. That's where your heart lies. You're very authentic when it comes to your passion for food. She says she's normally that and I get it from her. But this past year, nothing has been hitting the spot. Every time she goes out, she tries to eat the most dank food. The food that she used to love same restaurant, same recipe, nothing's hitting anymore. Absolutely nothing. She was in tears in our closet. In tears! Oh my god, this is... <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Is she, does she miss food? Oh my, you miss food? <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's too much, guys. What's going on? So basically, when she was talking, and then I started looking it up. They say like when you get old, you lose 50, 60, 70 percent of your taste buds are dying. Please let me know if you guys have parents in their 60s, or you're in your 60s. What? I don't know. Sometimes they get comments, and I'm like, I'm 57 watching this. What the? F Okay, please let me know, does that happen? Or is there any other reason it would happen? Because we're all having medical mysteries right now. So she was crying and so we made a pact. We made, okay. a, we made a promise. Yeah, because she said that she was going to die. She was going to waste away and die. And I was like, okay, don't do that. This feels a little dramatic. Here's the promise. We're going to take you to New York. And this trip, oh. you're going to eat everything every day. Every meal is a different vibe. So first, we land. I'm like, okay, we're going to go in with the OG Korean food. I look up the highest rated Korean food called Her Name is Han. And that place was yummy. I loved it. He loved it. But it's like a healthier Korean version. It's not dank. And I just could see my mom she's like yeah no 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 it's good because she hates ruining dinner time by saying it's not good and I could see she's like about to cry <laughs> so I'm like taking a mental note of it the next day I'm like okay babe you gotta do something you gotta do something so he orders the world's most dank Chinese food okay <laughs> this lady is slurping it up going in for seconds going in for thirds you could see the energy just flowing back into this woman so she's saying yeah. like she can't taste Korean food for some reason yeah. But the Chinese food, maybe the taste was so different. She said she can taste it now. Yeah, and I think a lot of it was like Sichuan, yeah, the like pepper, hot, chili, the numbing. numbing, chili, sour, yes. spicy. It's like really strong flavors. Oh, oh, yeah. she loved it. This has been our whole mission, but now she's back in Atlanta. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we just need to find the only Chinese restaurant that we loved closed down. <laughs> Suspected health reasons. <laughs> Oh, so right. please, I'd leave it in the comments if you guys know how to help my mom because I mean she can't live in New York All of her friends are in Atlanta. Her other kid is in Atlanta. Her grandchildren are in Atlanta, so Hi. I have a couple of questions for you Would you rather? Would you rather if I went swimming alone? With a guy that likes me Or would you rather I go to the club alone with a guy that likes me? He really likes me 
so me. No, it's not you. <laughs> okay, would you rather I go swimming alone with a guy that likes me, wants to date me? Who? I don't know, somebody. There's gotta be someone Something, out there. Something, someone that's not me. Someone that's not you. But are we dating? Yes, we're married right now. Oh, we're still married. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And then you're gonna go swimming with a different guy. Enough questions, it's, it's happening. Is it one-on-one one on one or is it? It's one pool, us two alone. <laughs> it's not my choice. I've been forced to go. Or I go clubbing with that guy alone. It's only us in the club. Mm. I guess you guys can go <laughs> clubbing. Clubbing? Because you don't like clubbing. You will probably be really awkward. <laughs> which will turn him off. Okay, it will be over. <laughs> Do you think swimming is a dangerous activity? Swimming? Yeah, I just imagine you two like splashing water in <laughs> each other. Like. Okay, okay, okay. It's a really cold day outside. I'm talking like negative zero degrees, okay? I'm with that same guy. He still really loves me, even after. It's a cold day. I'm walking with guy outside. Would you rather him take off his jacket and put it around me, but like hug me as he does it, like a K-drama? Like not even just put it on my shoulders, so but you know how they do it around? That? Or would you rather him take my hands and put it on his bare abs. Bro, please! <laughs> okay, would you rather you go to your very close guy friend's house? You don't have any, but let's say you do. Mm -hmm. The guy's house, you go to guy's house, okay? And would you rather find my very personal piece of clothing there? Or would you rather find his personal item of clothing at our house? Wow, that's weird. Like his <laughs> undies in our house. Yeah. Versus your pajama in his house. Mm -hmm. Are you getting jealous? Your like, eye just twitched. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's worse to find your clothes. There. Yeah, it's just visually more triggering, I think. But to find it here, it's like, okay, he's your friend, so yeah. maybe he can yeah, Exactly, yeah. maybe we swap undies. Because <laughs> I'm sure Dana has some of my undies. And <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck, stuck on, on an island. island. Okay. Would you rather only have ketchup flavored poop? What? Ketchup flavored poop to eat or poop flavored oh. ketchup? Oh, what the? Poop, but it tastes like ketchup, so you can eat it. But it looks like poop. It doesn't smell like poop, but it, it tastes like ketchup. But it's poop. <laughs> or would you rather have poop that's flavored like ketchup? I'm gonna eat ketchup. I'm not gonna eat poop. You're gonna eat ketchup flavored poop? Please leave your comments in the below. Leave your answers in the comments below because I was sitting there reading all of the answers to these reddits and people have some unique fucking answers to this shit, okay? We go to a hotel that we've never been to before. Would you rather see my phone auto-connect to the Wi-Fi or I just like know where everything is? But if your phone auto-connects yeah. to the Wi-Fi, that means you've been there and not with me, with someone else. Why were you there? That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out Lilo, linked in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh. Oh.